Travis and Jason Kelsey are reportedly in talks over a new contract for their New Heights podcast and have been told they could strike a deal worth $100 million. New Heights enjoyed a meteoric rise during the last NFL season with Kansas City Chiefs star Travis dating Taylor Swift, while his team went all the way to Super Bowl victory. Jason, meanwhile, has seen his own popularity surge via the show, thanks partly to the close bond he has with his younger brother. On Monday, he retired from the NFL after 13 seasons playing for the Philadelphia Eagles, he'll almost certainly now forge more of a career in the media industry and that could start with a new lucrative agreement for the podcast. According to the financial information website MarketWatch, the Kelsey brothers could strike a nine-figure deal to keep the podcast going, companies want Jason and Travis Kelsey's podcast because of the deep relationship they have with their audiences, Eric Silver head of development at Multitude, a podcast collective studio and ad sales provider, was quoted as saying by MarketWatch. That's the most important thing in podcasting. I wouldn't be surprised if it was $100 million, Silver's comments follow a report in Bloomberg last week that the Kelseys are shopping around for new terms. That report says they could strike a deal of around $80 million, as well as discussing the NFL. The brothers talk about their personal lives, including Travis dating Swift, and their upbringing in Cleveland. They started the podcast back in September 2022 and release episodes every Wednesday, with a bonus edition coming every Friday during the NFL season previewing the weekend games. They have 2.3 million subscribers and their one-hour, 50-minute episode recapping the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl last month has racked up 3.5 million views. A guest episode featuring Jason's wife Kylie talking about Travis and his dating life, before he went public with Swift, has 7.5 million views. Jason Kelsey, 36, steps away from football with career earnings of around $81 million from his 13 years with the Philadelphia Eagles. Travis, meanwhile, has made an estimated $77 million to date with the Kansas City Chiefs, where he is a three-time Super Bowl winner, the tight end, 34 has said before that he thinks about retirement more than he admits but will play on for at least one more season with his Chiefs team in pursuit of an unprecedented three-peat. It'll make for brilliant content next season on New Heights, too. Speaking on Super Bowl week in Las Vegas, Jason opened up on how the show has helped him maintain his bond with Travis, I haven't been this connected with Travis. Over the last two years, since college, he said, and that has been one of the best things, probably the best thing, of the podcast. It forces us, because we are brothers, before this we would go months on our own without talking. We would text, send a funny video but, to, truly sit down and talk with him, it would be a long time, it has been great, it's the second year, we have gotten a lot better at it, I think. I feel like first of all we have a tremendous team, our input is very minimal, we just talk. Doing this, you know once a week we are going to sit down and talk. And we are going to have very meaningful conversations, fun conversations and really know where each of us are at in our lives and that's the most fun part about it. It has reached a higher level thanks to a lot of different factors, including my brother's love life. But I think it is fun to see people enjoy it and it is fun to see where it is at. It looks like Taylor Swift's security detail just got a new unofficial member. According to a new report by the Nat FL, the pop sensation's boyfriend Travis Kelsey has vowed to keep her safe, even if he has to step in as her personal bodyguard, Taylor's family, and everyone who knows her is so relieved by her relationship with Travis, a source reportedly close to the couple told the Nat FL. Not only because she is madly in love but also because he makes her security personnel job much easier. Travis is a big dude and no one would mess with him because, when it comes to Taylor, he would not play if someone tried to come near her, the insider went on to add. She has a built-in bodyguard at all times. Travis has vowed to keep her safe and there is no doubt about this. No one will try to come close to her when she is holding hands with her powerhouse boyfriend. In February 2024, Taylor's dad, Scott Swift, was involved in an alleged scuffle with a photographer while attending one of his daughter's final tour dates on the Australian leg of her era's tour in Sydney. According to a statement by one of Taylor's reps, two individuals were aggressively pushing their way towards Taylor, 
grabbing at her security personnel and threatening to throw a female staff member into the water. Taylor's dad stepped in and was accused of assaulting the photographer who was allegedly involved in the incident. The alleged altercation reportedly bothered Travis, according to another source who spoke to the Daily Mail. Travis wishes he had been with Taylor when her dad got into it with the photographer as he wants to protect her at all costs, the insider told the outlet. He can't wait for her to be back in the States so they can be together, and if anyone tries anything, he knows that photographers, or anyone else for that matter, wouldn't dare come close to them if he was around as he is a very massive and intimidating guy. This isn't the first time that the issue of Taylor Swift's security has come up during her relationship with the NFL player. In fact, it seems the Kansas City Chiefs player has always had a knack for taking his girlfriend's safety into his own hands. Back in October 2023, the athlete was caught on video nudging one of Taylor's security guards so he could open a car door for the singer. The clip sparked mixed interpretations, with some social media users alleging that he took things a step too far with Taylor's security guard, during an October 2023 episode of the New Heights podcast he hosts with his brother, Philadelphia Eagles player Jason Kelsey, Travis was asked if he got any pushback from Taylor's security team. The Super Bowl champion claimed that he didn't actually push her security guard. I placed my hand on the gentleman's back to let him know I was behind him. If I would have pushed him, he probably would have turned around and tossed me, he said. That sounds like a way that somebody who pushed somebody would describe pushing them, Jason replied, jokingly. Travis indulged the joke, adding, good sir, can you excuse me? I need to get the door. Sorry. I'm right behind you. I don't want to startle you. I know it's your job to keep crazy people away, and if you just randomly get pushed in the back while standing in front of a door, that could probably be a little alarming when asked if he feels like a security guard on his dates with Taylor. Travis admitted that he's always aware of being protective of her. I feel like whenever I'm on a date I'm always having the sense of, like, I'm a man in the situation. I'm like protective, he told Jason. Yeah, for sure. You always kind of have that feeling or that self-awareness. Taylor Swift is known to be one of those artists who also knows how to praise her fellow colleagues for the work they do. She has always shared how mesmerized she has been with her favorite singers even though she herself is one of the most talented artists in the world. She recently hit the headlines when she was heard praising American singer and actor Sabrina Carpenter during her era's tour in Singapore, here is what Taylor Swift had to say about Sabrina Carpenter, Taylor Swift was currently in Singapore for her famous The Era's Tour. While entertaining her fans, she also made sure bring up Sabrina Carpenter and said, I also feel incredibly lucky because I could not possibly have a better opening act on this tour. She is one of my favorite artists, Taylor celebrated Sabrina's talents and urged the fans to give her a big hand. For all those who do not know this but Singapore era's tour day 3 has also come to a banging close. The second concert at the National Stadium was a resounding success, with some A-listers like Blackpink's Lisa, Shiny's Miho, and Barry Keoghan admitting their Swifty status. However, the third day witnessed the enchanted songbird claiming her Carpenter card, showering her opening act, Sabrina Carpenter, with streams of praise, Taylor Swift earlier made it to the headlines when she was seen bidding adieu to Sydney poster concerts there. Taylor Swift recently took to her social media handle to thank Sydney. While sharing her moments from the tour, she wrote, Sydney, 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 Sydney. What a whirlwind of endless magical moments with you. I'm so grateful that we got to be the first tour to play Accor Stadium four times. I'll never forget singing with Sabrina, the chaotic acoustic mashups, and the crowds that were louder, singing and screaming, than I thought humanly possible. I want to thank all of the Aussie fans for being so positive and passionate, so funny and wild and fun. Love you forever.